Hello, internet friends. My name is Bay. This is a gray shirt, apparently, I was told, and this is more Final Fantasy VII and Rebirth, but I'm bad. A light commentary playthrough here on the PS5 where I don't talk as much, but I got kind of tilted by Odin, apparently. Nothing else has been a problem until this boss. I would have killed it if I would have minus three'd it, which doesn't do anything if you do. It just makes it have less HP, but I kind of wanted to test myself and do full might. So that's what I'm still going to try. I had my best pull as this squad. So I'm going to try it again. I've moved around just to give Aerith a debuff as well, so I can use her ATB to debuff chain. Try again. Dude, it's amazing how many times he hits me when I can't do anything about it. Because I'm stuck in an animation. I threw my... I threw? There we go. Every time, man. It's insane. Every time. Come on now. Shall we? Just Foxfire takes so long to wind up. Impressive. It's so good, but it takes so long to wind up. You good? Let's do this again. Ready? Coming. Oh, that was hitting Aerith, I guess. That's so annoying. <laughs> The moment I was coming out of my menu, man. Every time. Yiffy, what is happening? No, no. Instantly reprisal, man. Good lord.
Okay, we're good. That was bad timing. Oh my gosh, the reprisal timing is paint. Uh, he double reprisal? Excuse me? each okay Twice there, huh? Oh, God, she's dead. Yep. I'll show you what I can do. Really? I just double debuffed him. Seriously. Cause he got a kill, isn't it? Well, we're all dead. I think sometimes it only hits two people. Nope. It's all three of us, I guess. your character has purple on their wrists they got hit by a glowing attack all atb attacks will be reprised that's what does it how am i supposed to know that when you get hit by a glowing attack Oh, so even, so even immuning those is still bad. It's so annoying, man. You get punished for hitting perfect parries in this. Because it still counts as a glowing attack, even though I was immune. Oh, restart. And the animation to throw my shuriken he immediately threw his spear and it goes even faster than my shirt can throw. <laughs> Yo, give me hard mode. Give me like new game plus hard mode, but it's easier than this. <laughs> this is so frustratingly annoying. I'm so over this fight. Just really not fun. This calls for more Yuffie. Ready, ready. Let me guess. That was teamwork. Follow my lead. Ready? I got you. Let's do this again. Ta -da! 
No, no, wrong target. There we go. My doppelganger still up? It is. Okay. What the hell was that? Spear rampage, he spins. All of a sudden, he just charged me in the face. Start. <laughs> Not very fun. Not fun. Every time I try to go for an ability, he's already casting something. And then I can't go for the ability. I bet he casts something in after the right after it. All right, do something. Okay, he has a little bit of a lunge. That's not what I wanted to do. I misclicked. Just moving her. Uh, should have moved him faster. Dude! Auto attack into immediate spear throw. I can't even wind up one fox fire. He hits me. Here we go. Of course. Dodged a moment too early. Yep, just like Dark Souls, baby. Please, I was in my dodge animation. Excuse me? Right 
Here comes the spear. Yep. Again. I even called it out that time too. Dude. Honestly. I'm literally dodging. You, I knocked me down from my dodge attack. I, I even went to dodge through it that time, so I can't use Yuffie right now. Omega thumbs down. I dodged. It was nearly there for the hitbox. Dodged hit immediately. <laughs> Did the same thing that time. Painful. I don't have any ETB really built up right now, anyway. When his animation like staggers out like that, it's hard to like time anything. Dang it. 
Still hit me. Nope. Dude, every time. He went to warning to immediate. If you're going to be mean. Not going to be enough, is it? That's it. Nope. that you can't just parry him. You are punished for parrying. The new mechanic they bring into this game that I've done with all the Dark Souls and Elden Rings and Bloodborns. Nope, can't parry. Parry bad. So you have to dodge, which I don't think has iframes in this game. It's just position. This is now my most disliked part of this entire beautiful, amazing game. This is huge thumbs down energy. Big, big frowny face. Not fun. Very bad. Don't like it. So stupid, man. I'm still in my animation. Yep, it's already over. Two hits. Two hits. To dodge, got hit. Give this about five more minutes, and then if that, I'm gonna switch over to the dumb monkey ook ook brain strat. Now you do some frame counts on these dodges, man. You have to dodge early enough to not get hit by the hitbox of the horse, but if you dodge too early, then you get hit by the spear. So, like, when do you dodge?
the hell? Why? I haven't gotten hit. I haven't gotten hit and he immediately goes for it. I'm gonna waste more ATB on, on form shifting then, I guess. It doesn't matter if I get hit in this phase, but it's still annoying. Oh my god. <laughs> ATV hasn't ticked over because of the stun. There it is. Oh, I should have built more ATV during this. Do something. Ready? Okay. Okay. That's fine. quick
How long does this debuff last? Oh, we're dead. Really? I can hit once. I can hit once after debuffing him, attacking him the whole time. Kills us. What's the rhyme or reason to this thing, man? Keep pressuring him. Okay, I'm literally attacking him the whole damn time. I'm, I'm debuffing him when I have a moment. I'm weaving in Foxfires. I'm attacking him. I'm attacking him. I got hit once at the last bit there, but I didn't have ATB to do the super dodge. And then he immediately goes into Horde and immediately Zantetsukens me. All right, I'm going to change everything up and we're going to go stupid Oonga Boonga build. Be right back. All right, so I had a check to go full Oonga Boonga. We're going with the OG squad. Barret is just going to spam heal himself and spam lifesaver with steel skin and just be a meat wall. And then I'm going to try to block and parry with cloud and switch to Tifa for burst. And just attack him forehead. No debuffing, no nothing. Just, just attack him. LOL. Punisher, I guess. Oh, I don't have Braver on my regular default keys, actually. Oh, she's reprisaled. That's right. They're both reprisaled. How long does this last, man? Let's do this. Go all out. Staying in melee range was so, so bad. Please, can I use Cloud? It's just getting interrupted non-stop. It's on you. Should all be over here. Oh, my God. 
hate some of his animation windows, man. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, it's that far away, huh? Okay, sure. I'm locking a really long animation. Let's do this. I don't have anyone to res on this team. Combos are so long. Shit. Here we go. Uh, I'm reprisal. Yep. Barrett can't get away from this shit, man. I, he can't get away. Basically out of mana. Let's do this. So stupid. It's just juggled forever, man. Nope, we're dead. My Oonga Boonga seems fine. I just can't get juggled in an infinite combo. The squad doesn't have a, a person that can res because you only have I only have two. I could have moved it, I guess, to bear it, but I didn't need it. It didn't seem like I didn't need it. I just want this fight to be over so I can move on and play the rest of the game. That'll be easier. <laughs> Give me the end Sephiroth fight. It's like 17 phases. I don't care. It'll be easier than this shit. Nope, nope, nope. It's on you. Yeah, you I'll do it. Oh, shit. I got this. No. I can't get around him. Now I miss deadly dodge. Take 
taken over. It's unfortunate he didn't charge me. Oh, he didn't charge Cloud. So incredibly long winded. Dude, I'm in my, her dodge. Oh, she's reprisal too. Pain. I'm holding the, the trigger. No, you can't block it. You can't, you cannot get out of that if you get hit once. Oh my God. The range on that is stupid, man. Oh, when was the glowing attack? Here we go. Let's finish this. I don't know what to use here. I, I don't even know what to do. I don't have enough time to get this going. It's not gonna go off. Oh, he does leave, doesn't he? an AOE? I thought it was a targeted attack. My first time using that, to be honest. Charging it at Barrett, actually. That's fine.
I got you. Everything. Oh, everything always hits. What is he gonna do to Cloud? It's okay. All the way behind him. Snooze. Does it work? So far away, all of a sudden. Oh, wind! It wasn't a glowing attack! is the strap. Goodness gracious. I was also full full HP. And I even messed up a few different times when I kept getting hit by the glowy attacks, which I didn't notice. I thought it was the purple glowy. See if I got hit by a white glowy, blue glowy attack, right? Not the purple glowy? I don't freaking know, man. It's over. Besting Odin, you've done the unthinkable. A single mistake could have spelled certain doom. <laughs> single? But your persistence paid off in the end. With his mighty Zontetskin, this master of the blade will certainly help you cut a path to victory. I still think that sounds weird. Zan Tetsuken versus Zan Tetsuken. Different game pronunciations, I guess. I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. All right, what's the materia do? Also, who should get it? So it's a little bit of a. I wish it told you on this screen, but it doesn't. So it's, he's just strength. He's strength and mana. No defense. So he's more he's more raw strength than Bahamut, but Bahamut has man as magic. Barret, probably, I guess. I guess it could be Tifa as well, but only minus four or plus four, so it's a wash. So I'm gonna put Bahamut on someone. Bahamut's still a really good summon. So Bahamut has magic attack as well. So Aerith? Yeah, Bahamut was a little tanky, whereas Bahamut's all strength magic. And then Alexander. Wait, Alexander on Barrett then. Loses some magic attack. Gains HP. Gains defense. And that's the last of our OG summons replaced with the new summon system, I think, then. Yeah. Well, I guess we still have Ifrit, actually. 
on uh, on uh, Nanaki. Mm, okay. Switching around different summons actually will be a thing I have to pay attention to in um, hard mode new game plus. Because a lot of the summons and spamming summon abilities as they are stronger than you can spend an ATB on. So like for elemental weaknesses, like Shiva against things that are weak to frost and stuff like that, or Ifrit against stuff that's weak to fire. If you have a, if you spend your parties like two, two and two ATB on your summon, it's way more damage than you can spend in your ATB. I'm pretty sure, or at least it should be, but goodness gracious, I get to play the rest of the game now. <laughs> oh man. So apparently that's the title of the video, by the way, it's going to be just full unga bunga. Cause that's apparently the way to do it. Good gosh. Um, we're fully done, right? I think so. All right. The saucer it is then. Oh, he's already here. Stood up? Nope. Waiting on you folks. Something I wanted to ask. Oh. About your mother. Her name's Afona, right? Maybe. So what? <laughs> that sounds like a yes to me. I called it the second I saw you. Boy, am I ever glad I sent up smoke. Tell me, how's she doing? Good? No. She's dead. <clears throat> you know, the whole reason I joined Shinra was to become a pilot. But I wound up as a gopher for some lazy grease monkeys. Had me running around HQ fixing lights and whatnot. One time, though, I came across a pretty young thing with a little girl in her arms. That was you, wasn't it? Probably. <laughs> you were knee high to a Tonberry. And I was what? Tall as a smogger, I'd wager. It's Aerith. Aerith. <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you? I want to help. What? Why? Uh, just trying to do right by you. <laughs> <laughs> Flying us around will be more than plenty. Thanks. Then again, if you're just dying to help, you could take us to the saucer for free. Free? <laughs> It's fine, we'll pay. No, it's on me. <laughs> when you want to head to the saucer, just give me a holler. Sid's a good egg. He's a good egg. Oh, so you can use the terminal to go elsewhere or him to the saucer. Yeah, okay. We're moving the story forward, damn hey, it. Good to go. It's like a four levels above the mobs. Well, sure. Let's get a move on then. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Huh. An eight? 
<gasps> the boy. You said that Sephiroth is your foe. I have a history with him. Unfinished business. Hmm? He bothering you? Want me to give him the boot? <laughs> Try to screw us over, and you're a dead man. <laughs> Please, uh, take a seat. <laughs> Do you think you can manage eight? Ain't gonna lie. That's a tall order for most pilots. <sighs> Lucky for you, I ain't most pilots. He's said motherfucking high wind. I'm fully expecting. Hey, Sid, oh. I was wondering, could you tell me a little more about my mom? Sure. I was greener than Mako when I met a fallen. She took my heart for a spin. Not you, Sid. Eric. Yeah? What happened to your mother? Did she get sick? Doctors always said she had a weak constitution, and trying to escape didn't help. I think she just pushed herself too hard, all so that I could be free. I'm sorry. At least she went out on her own terms. Did she? Even if she didn't, you should honor her memory by enjoying the life she gave you. Yeah. Thanks. I'm fully expecting the this sequence. Hey, don't know if y'all heard. Wu Tai's finally made a move against Shinra. Might be war. And as Midgar's been bombed to hell and back, Shinra's gotta be on the ropes. Good. War isn't worth celebrating. Ever. Exactly. This will affect everyone. For the worse. That's like when Sephiroth shows up. Nobody wins. Uh, on a related note, if war is officially declared, it will maybe long before borders start closing. So, if you've got somewhere to be, you might want to get a wee shuffle on. Oh! What the? Frank. Sid? Hey, Sid? I heard you the first time. Just sit tight. Everything's under control. <laughs> Sid? I said just sit tight. This beauty's maintained by an expert and piloted by a professional. Y'all are in good hands. Can swim away from. <laughs> you almost killed us. <sighs> Squad's all here. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, let's start her up. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, but the wings are still broken. And what of it? Only one man has mastered the land, air, and sea. You're looking at it. You got that? Okay, so? So you can think of me as the captain of your ship. Strap on in and we'll punch through the chop. Aye, aye. <laughs> Let's set sail. Straight through the ravine and on to Costa del Sol. And after that, we hit it. Sounds like a plan. We'll be there before you know it. Let's set a course for Costa del Sol, sir. <laughs> Roger that. Full speed ahead. I feel so good to be playing this game again and not Odin. Filling us in on the Keystone before we arrive. Gladly. About 20 years back, one of my more eccentric colleagues convinced the company to build a museum for his antiques. The reliquary, they called it. Pretty cool, eh? Now, according to company records, the keystone was housed there. Wait a second. I thought you said it was at the gold saucer. Aye, I'm getting... That? Never threat. There was a... Oh, right. So, the museum turned out to be a total flop. Closed as soon as it opened. But hmm, somewhere between cutting the ribbon and boarding up the windows, the keystone vanished into thin air. So it's not at the saucer? Do you know where it went? No, but I don't imagine it. The former curator. Do you? Huh? How do you know that name? Let's just say... I've been around a while. After the museum <laughs> debacle, all deal was devoted, only to be promoted again when the saucer took off. Made director in no time. Real riches to rags to riches story. All of which is why we're bound for the saucer. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, this is the. Ah, oh, I know where I am. Not sure how we're collecting these. And it's just slamming into the hull. Hey, Sid. Did I hear right? You used to work with Shinra? Still do, on occasion. Them boys got their uses. That's gonna be a problem. You see, we don't take kindly to friends of the company. And I don't take kindly to that tone of yours. The man who tries to lord his power over me is gonna wish he didn't. That's what's appealing about the skies. Got them all to myself. Rats can have their race in the gutter. Never much cared for the squeaking anyways. <laughs> I miss the wild blue yonder dearly. <laughs> I hope Johnny's all filled up right now. And that his hotel's found its uh, sea lights. Bad chance. Kid probably got drifted again and was crying himself to sleep every night. Probably. All right, how do I... 
Oh, are we not? I thought we were using that dock. I thought that's why it slowed me down. Never mind. We're going to the the dock dock. Way over here. <laughs> I was very confused for a moment. Now hold on. RPG senses. Oh, okay. The heck is that? is a little weird. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. Of we course. sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. <laughs> Cruises? I thought it was Bronco Airlines. Not after his wings got clipped. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. We really appreciate you ferrying us around. You're most welcome. Hey, y'all are headed to the saucer, ain't you? I might could tag along, take in the splendor. What do you think? Of course. <laughs> Girl always knows just what to say. Am I right? <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> Wait a sec. Where's Vincent? That way. Up there. Another loner. As if one wasn't enough of a pain in my ass. Yeah, one's more than enough. <laughs> you mean me? <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Now the tiny Bronco is able to cross the Meridian Ocean. You can fast travel to any location from the map to board the tiny Bronco. Speak with Sid at the nearest port or select the vessel from the map screen. This is the open world portion of the whole... Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. The SRC's declaration of war against Shinra was the shot heard round the world unsettled folks everywhere unsettling rather check the notice boards as you travel to locations both old and new and see if anyone needs help from a hand for hire the attractions of the gold saucer have undergone a series of renovations as the mini games available in other regions though as have the mini games in other re oh my god Try revisiting familiar locations and seeing what new challenges await. Note that some minigames will not be updated until certain conditions are met. And the combat sim updated. All right, first off, what the hell is this? Wait, hold on. Long ago, when most folks spent their lives at sea, a war broke out between some pirates. I mean, how do you think they came up with Pirate's Rampage? It's based on a true story. How about it? Want to hear? Yeah, why not? 
<laughs> Gather round and hearken to my tale. The four steel birds soared through the skies, and tracks wove across the land. Wooden ships were the primary means of travel. One such ship was crewed not by men, but monsters, hellions, and the high seas. From the fires of war, these pirates emerged victorious, leaving crimson waters in their wake. But the world's ocean is now his sole dominion. Their captain was declared the pirate king. As for the king's treasure, ere his passing, he took his most prized possession, courted it, and sealed those pieces away, along with his four finest mates, to forever stand guard. Whatever he hid, this map should point us to the locations in which its fragments rest. The spell he used to seal them away seems to have broken as well. Though the Pirate King's treasure is now ours to seek, four ferocious fiends yet stand in our way. Doubtless, we'll put up quite a fight. And I for one can't wait! So I've already found a couple of these areas accidentally. They are locked areas that were inaccessible before, I'm assuming. Take to the open ocean of the tiny Bronco and follow the treasure map to recover the long lost relics of the Pirate King. Unless they're totally new. Once you've assembled all four pieces, you can transmute a powerful accessory once used by this fabled swashbuckler. So maybe... Are they only accessible by using the Bronco? Because I thought there was definitely two of them that I found there were previously locked doors in caves it could be side quests now though it could be side quests well we can transmit the Corsair's compass well Partitions ATP gauge into three segments for a short period after using five commands. Hmm. So it's similar to the was it overcharge or something? No, the um ATP gauge thing from the previous game, but now it's just use five things, then get three segments instead of having just to use. Huh. Well. Quick little live edit. One moment. All right, and we're back. Well, seems like we have a lot of just play the game forehead ahead of us. We grab a materia pop and give your taste buds a magical infusion. So what do we got here? Card carnival. Another card. It's actually four new Queen's Blood duels. Well card carnival or challenges. I gotta talk to Vincent. See, he's not a vampire. Well, he doesn't want to talk. Okay. Are oh, you sticking the mud? That's for you. Have fun. Okay. 
this is wow debuff big debuff Enfeeble deck. Hmm. That seems so nasty if you can actually make it work. Wow. Lower the power of any cards by four. You know, one up, down, forward. Place an allied and raise the power of allied cards and effective tiles while they replace the allies' power. Oh, this is the This is the replacement card madness. Hmm. Okay. Eight challengers and then Ladrell. What are the challenges looking like? Welcome to Card Carnival. In Costa del Sol's Queen's Blood Arena, the house provides the cards. You provide the cunning. These puzzles on test your QB acumen. Card puzzles, card oh, collection challenges, and skill drills. First off, my eyes. Collector's card, Vincent. Oh, we get our own cards. Oh my God, there's so many. <laughs> oh, well. Use dying to detonate these traps and blow the competition to smithereens. Just don't let Phoenix stand in your way. So you destroy everything but Phoenix? Looks like the Materia Garden ha Guardian has to go first. So is it just do this? just this it is not just that 
Okay. Yay! Stop, 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 stop. of this one it raises the power but why would I want to play that Not it either. I don't think so. I need to find out where they want me to put this eyeball. I don't know where to. Okay. I mean, it's a chain reaction thing, because Dine can only go here. Because he does nothing if he goes here, here, or here. Like, he, he doesn't do anything. I don't think he does anything. I thought this was gonna... Put both of these here. And you do this to raise the power of Phoenix by one so it doesn't explode. the Jabberwock position on the board using cards from your hand, then replace it with the Gi Natak. To activate its skill and power your way to victory.
and first enfeebled. So how is this going to give me enough power? You have to be here. Hmm. Interesting. So I'll drop the crab. I guess I want to drop the crab later. Okay, I'm assuming I have to, I have to drop the crab second. Second round. Yeah, okay. to drop the crab hmm So I drop the crab now, he dies. Then I won't have something below to soak up the buff. Is the griffin there just to soak up the buff? You have to replace something. And putting it here buffs the Jabberwock in the middle lane. can do anything is here. Is it this? Does the sand hog pie keep the crab alive? But that doesn't move the buff anywhere. This this doesn't this doesn't work. Does it work? Maybe. I don't know. Still he still dies, so he doesn't actually get buffed. And now I can't place this guy here to bounce the power into the middle. So that doesn't work. Hmm. Well, 
if all of these challenges are going to be this difficult, I might not put them in the next recorded episode because it's a lot of just standing here staring at the screen doing math in my head. It doesn't matter what lane it goes into, but it needs to be in two lanes or it doesn't work. <laughs> and the Jabberwock needs to be placed in enough of a spot to eat. Are we buffing the Riot Trooper? No, it's not a diagonal. So we need to have a diagonal to push a buff. Unless the Griffin is a debate. Is the Griffin a debate? I that still doesn't work. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, but you need the crab only buffs what's directly above it. And if you're trying to funnel all this power into one into one spot to eat it and spread it, you need to put the crab below, but then the crab dies. Does it add the one? It does not. Oh, it re adds the two from the crab. I was not thinking that was a mechanic. I thought the crab only added one time. That's crazy. So it does, it adds this power to three, which when it slams down. I don't know why it's going to, to 20 and, oh, cause it's the two and the one. That's how you, that, that, that's it. I did not know the crab would add power to an incoming replacement card that then also gets ricocheted off. I didn't think that would have, that would work. Okay. Uh, we win. I was under the impression it wouldn't work that way. That's why I never thought to try it. Okay. I didn't think the plus two would, would ricochet with the, uh, the Gina doc. It does apparently. Okay. Did not know that. All right. Collection challenges. Once cloud power, once clouds power reaches seven, he enhances the cards around him. Use this limit breaking skill to your advantage and claim victory. This card's power first reaches seven, brings the power of allied cards and affected tiles by two. This is the only cards I have. The rest of the deck must have 
something on the board already. Okay. Well. Is this just... Is this just this? That was easy. <laughs> There's only three places you could put cards. It's not a whole open lane like the other ones. Okay. By one point. Cloud card could go well in the buff deck. Raises the power of all allied cards affected by two. The whole board around him gets plus two. Good God. He adds 18 power to your board. Crazy. Barrett can drastically enfeeble a card across the board. Use his long range skill to snipe your opponent and win. Okay, let's see. So clearly, what does Barrett do? When played, lower the power of enemy cards on affected tiles by eight. So I need to do that to the Mithril Golem, yeah? Or the Flame Trooper? The Flame Trooper just kills this whole row, but doesn't remove this guy. I need to blow this guy up with the bomb. The bomb does four. I need to raise someone's power as well. Because you can bomb here and then rat it and it blows up. I also need to get three stacks somewhere. I have to build up to a three here? Hmm. I only have one destroy card. Am I putting the bomb down here? I... Hmm. This is a little bit weird. I I don't know how to get three in that lane. Oh, by destroying the bomb. to be here. I thought it was longer than that. I need a three space here? Oh. Well, that's not it. So is it this? this bomb here it doesn't add one though 
But this also is the only way to destroy the bomb. So how do you... And that doesn't give me a three there because it replaces it. So am I not using Barrett to do that? I can't can't play him anywhere. That's not it either. Hmm. I wonder if there are multiple solutions, because that was not what you were thinking. I don't know if these have multiple solutions. I'm assuming the card challenges have one. Maybe two, but I don't think so, because all your cards can only do one thing, right? Like they only move in a certain direction, right? So how... You can't, you can't put them... Hmm. I can't use the rat to blow up the bomb because I can't put it down. Well, it's got a cliffhanger a little bit, but the recording is already getting too long because of the Odin stuff attached to this. So if you've been watching live, we'll keep figuring that, this out. And if you've been watching on YouTube, uh, we'll figure this out in the start of the next one. So thank you very much for watching. Of course, if you want to watch Bloodborne or Dark Souls 2 or 1 or 3 or Elden Ring or God of War, both of the new ones, or the Jedi games. Those are all also on the YouTube channel. But uh, I'm going to try to figure this out, and this will be the start of the next one, which I will uh, I'll see you there. In the, uh, the silence, because the Queen's Blood music gets a little graining after a time. 